the uh, ABYC specifically does not want to see this. Hello and welcome to another one of our Ask the Expert series here at Boat How To. We're Nigel and Jan. And uh, today we got a question about somebody with a French boat who says that many French boats have a DC negative disconnect, which frequently causes problems on charter boats because Brits turn on the red one and forget the black one and then wonder why the electrical system doesn't work. Is this switch a good idea? So just to be clear, so basically he has like a disconnect switch on the positive side and one on the negative side. Right. All right. T basically two separate battery switches. Okay. Which uh, in general is probably not a good idea. If you had an isolated ground DC system, which this almost certainly isn't, mm -hmm. then uh, you do want to be able to disconnect the negatives and positives, but it should be a switch that does them both at the same time. Yeah. Two so pole switch. Pulled, yeah. It wouldn't be two separate switches like this. The uh, ABYC specifically does not want to see this. Mm -hmm. um, because with a grounded DC system, we're re relying on that connection to the back to battery negative uh, for corrosion protection and various other purposes. Yeah. So uh, the ABYC specifically says there should be nothing in the negative side of the circuit, mm -hmm. basically between the uh, various bits of kit you got on the boat and the battery. Yeah. The ISO so doesn't... The ISO doesn't, doesn't, doesn't have an that. opinion on this. Mm -hmm. So uh, the ISO standards in general are not as detailed. Mm -hmm. uh, I've seen this myself and I'm not sure why that switch is in there. And I'm sure whoever designed the system had a, a reason for it. But uh, the answer is no, in general, it shouldn't be there. And it's probably not a good idea. Yeah. It's not a problem to leave it on permanently or replace it right. with just a piece of wire, yes. which is probably better. Yes, and we're probably going to get some, some, <laughs> some flashback from this because there's probably a reason why that switch is there. <laughs> yes. Let's see, I mean, write it in the right. comments if, right. yes. if you know a reason why yeah. that's a good idea or right. if you're a French boat builder and... Right. Explain why it's there. Yeah, I yeah. think it works different in France. Right. Yeah. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows, yeah. yeah. All right, well, that was a quick and short answer. Right. And um, yeah, as, as we said, write us in the comments if you, if you have a different opinion. Mm -hmm. If you actually want to learn a bit more about grounding DC systems on, on your boat and um, yeah, the requirements for these things, mm -hmm. um, check out our Boat Electrics 101 course where we go into great detail about this and it's all standards compliant. So you actually learn about both ABYC and ISO standards and make sure your boat is wired correctly and safely. So check us out and see you soon. Thanks, Nigel.